Hello everyone, today we're going to do another deck deck, Kirk Thumbless. It's a goblin, but, but he doesn't have thumbs, but he's flipping coins. Uh oh, okay. That makes sense. That's, that makes sense, that's good, yeah. Game design. Okay, so, pretty much this is a sorcery creature that pretty much says flip a coin whenever you cast something if you lose return to your hands and if you win you get a copy of it here's your deck it's pretty much just a cantrip deck it's a sorceries a lot of shenanigans so we got just stuff that makes it good to cast stuff so snapcaster mage Zone Split just draws us so much cards. Zada just is a really cool engine. Young Pyromancer. Wind Rider Wizard. Wired File. Eternal. Wildfire Goblins. Talrad. Stormwing Entity. Snapcaster Mage. Pyrohound. Omnispell Adept. Akun. Memoring Mystic. Mizix of the Magus. Zix. Zix. The Mazix. Is it Paragon? Tire Snipe, Guy Eternal, Kefnet, Goblin Electromancer, Jelectro, Skade, and Baral. That's all the creatures. All the things in sorceries either draws cards, does something really cool, or adds mana. Mana, mana, draw, draw, mana. Draw, draw, mana, draw, draw, mana. Draw, draw, really cool effect, really cool effect, draw, mana, 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 draw, pretty much draw, mana, cool effect, cool effect. And then we got three artifacts, Quark. He has this really big problem. He misses his thumb. So we gave him his thumb. There it is. We got Primal Amulet and then the Magic Mirror. We also got some enchantments. Chance Encounter pretty much does. We flip a coin every single time we cast something. Pretty much on average, we cast 20 things. We just win. Okay, sounds good. I have the Storm. Amazing. Delicious in this card. Like, literally, after you've already cast, like, three things, I do do this. The game just kind of breaks, and then you just kind of, like, can't play anymore. Pretty much if that happens, I'll just stop it, because it takes a really long time for, like, me to actually, like, manually do all that stuff. Eyes of the Watcher scries this whole bunch. This gives us cards and damage. Jace's Sanctum. This is good. The Total Lurk Summonings is good. Whenever you cast Sorcery, pretty much play this for a graveyard. Form Intelligence, copy stuff, regardless if we win the flip. Marari Conjecture, copy stuff. Thousand Year Storm gives all of our stuff storm. Sounds good. Okay, sign me up. We got Kirk Thumbless and Prismatic Piper. The reason we use Prismatic Piper as the partner is because of two reasons. First thing, Kirk by itself does not need partner. Whoever designed Kirk, it, it does not need partner. I, the reason I used a partner... It's just because I want access to blue, just to add all this crazy fun time stuff. Because everyone likes crazy fun time stuff. So yeah, so that's the deck. We're just going to do a quick playtest of it. Hope you like it. Okay, we're going to keep this deck. I mean, we're going to keep this hand because it has a in your hand. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to play a mountain. I draw another card, play a island, play Kark. Okay, draw a card, untap all your lands, play high tide, see if it lands. It does, so that's one, two, three, four mana. I'm going to do Zerda. We're going to go to turn four. 
And we're going to cast. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's let's cast this nice crouch thumb. Why not? But we're going to cast it big brain with two, two blue mana. So we do this. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. We draw. We untap. We play mountain. And we're going to do battle him. We're going to see if it hits. Okay, I don't even need to do that. I get to make four mana because it's copied. So now I have four mana, five mana. This is all split. Why not? Fun time. Okay, combat. Flip coin, flip two. So orange is always winning, black's always losing. So flip the first one. We win. Okay, now since we won, we gotta do it again. We win. Okay, we get to draw a card. Okay, we gotta do it again because it's until we lose. Oh, I don't like that when Crark's thumb comes in. And we win. We gotta do it again. We win. We gotta do it again. We win. We gotta do it again. We win, we gotta do it again. We lose, okay, Crack's thumb comes in. Aw, oh, we've been stopped. Okay, next turn after we discard down. Okay, draw a card for turn, and pop. We're gonna go over with the seething song. Let's see if we make it. Quirks them. Nice, we have 10 red men now. We're, <coughs> we're, sorry. We're gonna add blue to that 10 mana. And we're gonna do Swarm Intelligence. So now we have four red mana left. This pretty much lets us copy whatever we want, regardless if we win or not. We also get a draw card because we won the coin flip. So we still have four red mana left. So we're going to use two of that red mana to do Desperate Wrist Roll. We get to copy it anyway. And we also get to flip a coin. Okay. Quirk Slump comes in. Okay. So this goes back to our hand. We get three mana. So now we have five mana in our mana pool. We're going to use two of that. We have three left. We get another one. But well, let's see if we get any more. We lose. Quirk Slump comes in. We lose. Okay, I return Desperate Ritual to my hand. I now have six mana in my mana pool. I then play Desperate Ritual again. Oh, we lose. Okay, let's 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 go again. Oh, we lose. We return it to my hand. Now we have seven mana. We play it again. We lose. Oh, oh no. Yay, we win. Now we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana in our mana pool. We're going to cast Recoup. Because since we have 13 mana in our mana pool, we can do whatever we want. Why not? We're going to do... How about... Something fun. How about... um? Do we even need any of this stuff? No, honestly, we don't even need any of that stuff. We'll just blow up a land. Yeah, we blow up someone's land. Actually, no. We're going to do it. And you know, we're going to do Desperate Ritual. Again, I forgot to draw off of winning the coin flip, so let me do that. I play it. Let's see if we win the coin flip. Let me just, like, keep track of this. And we flip the coin again. Wow, we won. We get to draw a card. Wow. I have the storm. <coughs> That's crazy. So now we got to do. Now we have 22 red man in our mana pool. Okay. Happy fun time. This gets exiled. Now wait, next turn. Thank goodness mana burns nothing anymore. 
okay. Let's use Jeskai's will. Picking both. Honestly, we don't even need any of that stuff anymore. We pretty much got like infinite mana whenever we need it. Here's the three cards we have access to. <coughs> Let's flip a coin, see if we win. No, okay, Quark's thumb comes in. No. So you have three mana and do all this stuff. Chance encounter. And then expedite targeting Zerda. Oh, isn't this fun? Now we get to flip a coin. Oh, but wait, it doesn't matter because we already have a copy of it. Does this whatever you cast is a source of spell that cut? The target's only that. You get to copy it for each one. So guess what? I get to flip a coin. See if we make it. Quark's thumb. Doesn't matter. We draw a card. It's so sad that it goes to the grave. But that's okay. It just is. He's now we got this out. That's going to eventually win us game. Stuff happens and you get the point. This deck is really fun. And it's not a powerful deck. But it's really fun to play. Highly suggest it. The deck list should be in the description. Have a nice day. Goodbye.